Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Children of Morta. Uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, I said we were going to look at this cutscene, so let's do exactly that to start out with. Heroes from stories were often above mundane daily tasks. Not all heroes made time to eat around the same table, talk of affairs other than war and looming shadows. Another short and sweet cutscene. And I like the ones with the whole family because it seems they will reliably always be there. Other ones I've sometimes seen them change a little bit if they only involve one family member. But yeah, what we're gonna do is let's go to the animal shelter. We, what are we most interested in? What I like to do is I like to give everything to Faramars the deer because I want to level up as fast as possible. So let's just give him everything and see how much of a bonus we can get. So right now we're at a 15% bonus. Let's even give him the rare treat. Alright. So we haven't reached the highest level, but it's still pretty high, and that's a pretty good bonus. And I said we were going to be saving up for... Uh, uh, this upgrade. I want to get this to the maximum level as quickly as possible. Because it makes sense to get the one that boosts gold as early on as you can. Well, let's just take a quick look around before we dive right in. We see the peacock is just chilling. It's a bird, a tiny bird of some kind, outside the shelter. Another bird inside the shelter. And if you look around outside, what else do we see? Well, the the fish are in the in the ponds, just doing their own thing. And it seems that's it for now. We are now gonna go back in. We're gonna do one more non-story progress run. We're gonna go back to the Caldipo Caves, into the. Uh, Lost Trenches, the second area. We're gonna go with the... Uh... Dizzy, nauseated, feverish. The Bergson's mind unsettled from the incremental rise of the corruption. No longer were even they immune to its ill effects. Okay, so this mechanic... Oh, it seems... We we don't have Lucy unlocked yet, so that wasn't her final cutscene. So this mechanic is the other way the game incentivizes you to not play the same characters over and over again. Because if you do too many runs in a row, and this was our first run with Mark, so I can only assume that it was scripted to do this just to introduce this mechanic, then they will get something called Corruption Fatigue. And uh, it gives them a debuff. You can still play with them, but it makes it much harder. And it would ultimately make more sense to just go in with a different character. And uh, level them up and uh, you know get more progress with them rather than going with the one that you've al already played a bunch with. And who also has a debuff. Now you can cure the fatigue with those uh um with that i think it's called a mysterious egg that we found for completing that mini game uh i forget what the name of the character was it was it was something the odd that bird like character that was running and we had to catch it before it disappeared and as a reward we got an egg we can use that, but I'm, I'm going to save it because the fatigue will go away over time if you just don't play with a character for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to go as uh, Kevin. 
And the idea is I'll go as Kevin now, and then next video I'll go as Linda. And uh, hopefully clear the last area as Linda. That's a bit presumptuous. I might fail, but hopefully not. All right, now, what's the state with uh, you, Kevin? We have your Guardian Rage. Okay. Now with Kevin, we need to be mindful of the ranged enemies because they are... Uh, he doesn't have any good way of shielding himself. And now I'm taking some annoying damage from these guys. Right, I need to... I need to get my head in the game. Right, that's... Yeah, this... This chip damage from these ranged enemies is going to be the death of me. Wow. And that entire floor is filled with a... Okay. This is not going well at all. Yeah. I am at a loss for why it's so difficult. It shouldn't be this hard. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to be really, really careful. And even if I am careful, like, this is a very difficult opening layout. Got a bit of rage from that. Yeah, if there had been enemies here, right, like, right across these spikes, that would have been really bad. And it could still be bad, because no doubt there are gonna be enemies here, and even more spikes! Wow, this is one of the worst layouts I have ever seen. And I'm gonna have to resort to heavy cheese tactics. Alright, that's one guy down, and like they're standing right on top of the spikes and not triggering them. That's kind of cheap. And... They're standing at really annoying intervals where if you kill a bunch of ranged enemies, then there are a bunch of others at the end of the screen who are just ready to ruin your life. Okay, okay. Let's, uh... Let's get things together, alright? Let's, uh... Uh-oh. Almost... Almost got really bad. Okay, that was really annoying. Where is this guy? Yeah, this is... Kevin is actually one of my better characters. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> at least at least we'll get something out of the run. Unless I find a way to mess this up, which I don't think I should. Okay, let's just get it. I think one more should do it. Oh, that was close. I mean, there's there's no time limit or anything as far as I know. You just have to win before you get the... Uh... I think there's health over there. Primary attack damage increases with the number of gemstones. Hmm. That's gonna make things interesting. Gonna make things very interesting. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to be a bit, uh, a bit daring here. I'm gonna try to level up and then take the health. Okay, I'm uh, waiting for my ability to reset. Another gemstone, which is a lucky find. And we have an incentive to keep them rather than spending them now. Uh, oh, good. I didn't, I didn't pick up that health. That's good. I think we can salvage this run if we are careful. Temporary invisibility. Sounds like something that could help us out a lot. But will it be that useful in practice? We'll find out. Even more health. Okay. Things are starting to... Uh, starting to... Get... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to use one of my gemstones to open this because... It could be good, and if nothing else, you know, a bit of gold is fine. Although I really should have used that obelisk before getting that bit of gold. Because that was the gold boosting obelisk. I'm running here just in case maybe it turns out there's a way to get that last bit of experience to level up, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna pick everything up and. We're gonna go on to the next floor, and hopefully it'll have a better layout. Hopefully, yeah, I'll just take this out. Hopefully, I'll do a better job fighting the ranged enemies and the enemies in general. And hopefully, this next level up will do something really good for us. All right. After all that, we are finally past the first floor. Man, this is a surprisingly slow Kevin run. But I guess that's what happens when your back's against the wall in a rogue like, whoa, 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 where, where even is the elite? He's right at the back. All right. All right. A lot of different enemy types combining in annoying ways, but we took out the flying enemy, which is what I wanted. Oh, oh, don't want to get frozen. All right, I think we're fine. We are just fine. Summon two random runes. All right, a whole bunch of ranged guys, and they have a long range, it seems. Hopefully the goal is to just interrupt them before they can launch their bolt. They do seem to be wielding crossbows. But my, do I want to improve one of these, or do I want to get this? I think I just want to straight up get this. Yeah. Alright. Temporary aura that damages nearby enemies. I like the idea of that more so than the temporary invisibility. Not least because we now have, a, have a, a way to become invisible ourselves. All right, we have a bunch of health on the ground. I dare say we have successfully turned the run around. With a bit of help from the game, admittedly, you know, some lucky health drops a level up at the right time, but you do need help, because a lot of the damage we took was from bad enemy distributions early on, and I am 
once again squandering all the health that we had gotten. Okay, let's... Oh no, oh no. Things, <laughs> things are getting bad again. It's how quickly your fortune can change in a roguelike. Okay. So left button. Oop. To get my special ability active. Yeah, and there's no more health on the ground either. So we are once again in a desperate situation. I hate these bats so much. The way they hover and those weird random-ish patterns. Oh, 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 yeah. Saw those guys readying their- Come on, man. I swear. These bats and the distance at which they start their dash has been scientifically engineered to be the most annoying possible. Where you feel like you're gonna hit them before, but no, they're just out of range and then they get their attack off and I really should not have taken that hit. What is going to be the strategy? Again, try to get to the boss fight and guardian generate rage at maximum frenzy. Sure, whatever. Hoping for uh, hoping for health, obviously. Health drops would be nice. Maybe I should be using my rage. In fact, yeah, I should. Tired of being called shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeeper. Would any of these be good? Maximum health would be nice, but I mean, we're so far away from our maximum that maybe that's not really worth it. What else? What else? Let's just get all the gold first. Please hear us, the person says, but then, I mean, Okay, I'm listening. What do you what do you have to say? I mean Oh, he's not even he's not even talking to me. He's talking to God. Of course. How how presumptuous of me. It's like It's like that thing where you know you're walking by and someone's on a phone call but you can't see what they're talking into and you think they're talking to you and so you respond but then you know it's awkward for a while okay so that's just uh not immediately god I hate you guys so much we're gonna die okay let's huh huh Yeah, it, it is a hard life as a melee character in this game. Because you have no safety. Oh, and oh my god. Are there enough enemies to make this secret work? There might not be. We'll, we'll find out. This stupid bat is gonna... I swear to god, if you... Where, where are you going? I, I don't even know if that counted because of how far away his body wound up. If there are enemies, I'm gonna... I'm gonna strategically bring you all back here. Okay, I'm not... 
Hopefully, let's not die trying to make this happen. Okay, why is this so difficult? Okay. Okay. Don't think this guy's gonna follow us. He's just gonna stay. Maybe these bats are gonna help us. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just come on. Just come on. Okay, this is... Oh my god. And obviously, these... Uh, this guy with the bow isn't gonna help us. Maybe the skeleton is gonna be the last guy we need. No. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, this is a, a real struggle. I'm gonna... Okay. It is very hard as a solo melee character in this game. Oh, no, 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 don't kill him. I'm, I'm gonna bring him over to the thing. Does it fade over time? Because it feels like it's not as bright as it... Maybe... Undead skeleton enemies don't count. I'm trying to figure out why that hasn't. I don't think these guys are gonna be able to go through the door, no. My, that, that would be horrible if we are unable to get that thing. Because that could have helped us out a lot. Okay. Let's. It was right here. The Bergson thought that this would be one final thing that they could do for the Wolf Cup. Okay, so at least we found that. Some sort of progress of some kind. If I find more enemies, which I don't think there are, there's only one place left to go in this map, and it's behind... Uh, it's behind a door that enemies aren't going to be able to follow us. I'm not losing evasion. I'll keep the two random runes. I'll take the animal treat. I'm even going to take this into this room. And I'm going to use my guardian rage. Because we are very close to dying. Oh, 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 oh this could be... Okay, I'm trying my best to... What? Come on. The sight had become painfully all too familiar. The sorrow always hard for the Guardian to bear. Not able to save. Only prevent. <laughs> When all was thought lost, when the struggle was becoming too heavy a burden, a young voice cried out. Stifling his sobs, the small boy spoke of his mother. She was not far away, and returning to her was his only need. Okay, now this is an interesting event and it's one that I don't like very much I will attempt to do it and I guess I can't even leave now without trying to resolve this event so if I hit this pressure plate the door is gonna open and this boy is gonna just mechanically move forward like an automaton without regard for his own safety and, uh, and I got hit once and I died. I don't like that event because it's just not, uh, 
a realistic way that a boy would behave. And the reason I died was because if you don't go forward and kill the enemies, they will kill the boy. And he will die. Lucy was trying to convince Grandma that she could face the corruption on her own, despite having doubts herself. She might be able to persuade Margaret, but Mary is another story. Grandma would say, trust the children and convince Mary. But Lucy knew that her mother would still worry. Never would a wolf cub live in as nice a house as the one Ben was building. When asked what name to put on the house, Lucy yelled out, Riker! Riker the Wolf Cub. Alright. So even though we didn't win that run, uh, I'm just not happy with how it went. Even though I didn't think I was playing that badly. I just think it really is that hard as a melee character in this game. Before we move on, I am going to look at this cutscene because I think this is one of those that might not be there if we don't look at it right now. Feeding the shy fish always involved much pomp and circumstance, a ritual that was usually held by Lucy and Linda and featured the animal's playfulness. Hmm. That was a pleasant note to end on. Before we end, I want to take a look at uh, the cat and the wolf cub sitting at the bottom of the stairs. Notice how the cat will occasionally reach out and uh, play with the wolf pup's tail and eventually he will get fed up and he'll bark a little bit and the cat will jump onto the railing. I just think that's hilarious. And, uh, one of the lovely little touches in this game. And it's touches like that which mean that it's really not even that frustrating if I fail miserably and run like I did just now because you always come back to this house and you're reminded that things are uh, things are okay and on that note I'm gonna end this video when we come back next time if Lucy hasn't been unlocked yet, maybe she has one more cutscene to go. If Lucy hasn't been unlocked, then we are going to go back to Linda, and we are going to go to the third area of uh, the Kaldippo Caves. And we'll see, you know, what we can do over there. So I thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope to see you in the next part. So uh, until then, take care.